Hello guys, this is your weekly reading for the week of July 22nd through 28th. So let's talk about the astrology and the transits for this week. So the first thing that we're going to notice is we're still in the retrograde. So things are still in the midst of changing. Life is changing. Surprises are coming into you. And we have uh, the sun and Leo throughout this whole week. Now, the sun and Leo brings you out. People are starting to see you for who you are. You're, if you are your natural and sincere self this week, it's going to be beautiful and people and situations are going to be attracted to that. So this is your time to uh, show off all of your skills. That magician energy is coming out for me. So Thursday, <clears throat> we move into Mercury retrograde. Um, this talks about um, er issues with communication, but because it's accompanied with the sun and Leo, it's time for you to, you really want to say how you feel, okay? Because you're feeling really good about yourself. It's that positive kind of um, queenish energy, okay? Very, uh, you're like the enforcer of your life and you want more, okay? So this could also bring really passionate um, affection, from others because it's like they don't know how to control it and they just want it out it's like that rush it feels like a rush of energy like if a tide was hitting a shore okay then we move into on friday with the full moon in aquarius now aquarius brings the unexpected okay it is a very it's that flowy energy okay so it could bring surprises people doing things they normally don't do and you can also feel this within yourself so be very careful about um spontaneity okay so i'm gonna pull three cards and see what intuitively i have for this week for everyone Ooh, a lot of things are happening. I definitely feel surprises because of the major arcana cards. Okay. Um, so we have control, which is the chariot. We have listen, which is the high priestess. And we have the third eye chakra. I'm going to count these up really quick. So you're definitely coming to a higher understanding because secrets are being revealed. That's the first thing that I'm going to say. But <clears throat> it feels like a lot of things are coming towards you and people are trying to push their agendas. Okay. Um, and it's really important for you to feel what you want and to be very intuitive and very perceptive about how it's going to play out. Okay. So, the, these are, this is emphasized by two things, which is the high priestess and the third eye chakra, because the third eye chakra talks about using your inner knowledge and being smarter than the average bear, you know, <laughs> being smarter than this fire energy that's coming rushing into you. Okay. Processing what is happening before acting. So I definitely get a lot of that. Okay. So we're going to move into your readings. Okay, so we're going to start with Aries. So Spirit, what do we have for Aries for the week of July 22nd through 28th? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, be aware of at this time during this week? <clears throat> we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups. The Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Swords. 
On the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So right off the back, Aries, um, you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And I see you're trying to come out of the outs with them, okay? Um, it, it, it'll it make you feel better, definitely, um, or more in control. You're trying to be more in control. You're trying to have your best life and you feel like it would be best um, with this person or healing from a situation. There may have been a loss or a bad move. You may feel on your part, but you're definitely trying to heal that this week and figure out where things are going. Focusing more on work and um, having supportive relationships or people around you, okay? So it looks like you're not, I feel like you're not very happy or there may be some family issues and you definitely want that happiness. You're choosing to be more happy. You're making a decision to move towards happiness. And I feel like it's regardless of what other people think. I feel like in the past you may have been holding on to people or issues or situations and you're making a decision to come out of that. You're gaining more control of your emotions and what it is that you need. This There may be a a, um, cancer Scorpio <clears throat> excuse me cancer Scorpio or Pisces around in the mix okay so there's definitely some hope and you have someone in mind that brings that hope to you okay um, <clears throat> and I feel like you're expressing how you really feel I feel like there is something that you were holding on to for the sake of saving face and that is going to come out today for sure okay it's like you're expressing what you feel what you need so that's really good yeah Definitely after being trapped or feeling trapped or feeling like you're keeping all of your passion in about a particular person or situation, that's definitely coming out. You have the king of wands and you are pushing through. You know what it is that you want and you're going to achieve that. I definitely feel that. Be careful about being too pushy because you definitely know what you want and you just want the other person to see. And by doing that, it may feel a tad bit aggressive, okay? So just be aware of that. You have the devil energy, which is master. Um, I feel like you're trying to master your emotions and what it is that you want. This feels kind of new, um, like a new energy, like a new passion that you're following. But I feel like you're, you've kept it inside so much that at this point, it's like I'm tired of thinking about it and I wanna put it into more action. That's what I'm getting for you, okay? All right. Okay, next we have Leo. Spirit, what do you have for Leo for July 22nd, 2000 uh, through 28th? So we have the full card, the Emperor in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the World, the Six of Cups. And the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like you're definitely thinking about walking back into something that was over with the Eight of Cups in reverse. That is my card for that. You may have moved on. Um, I feel like you're trying to make amends with a person, say you're sorry, and maybe get back with them or just to mm, relieve some tension or some karma that you feel like you may need to release with that person, okay? You may be tired of fighting the the inner feeling that something may have happened there or there's something that may have been missed and you want to make sure that <clears throat> excuse me and you want to make sure that you're weighing all of your options and showing all of the sides okay 
So you're definitely putting, you're taking a risk by ending something, okay? You're either taking a risk by ending some, something or ending something else and starting a new cycle, okay? So I definitely see a new cycle coming in either way. Now, I feel like you're taking more of a passive approach. You're not um, being as aggressive. You're not being as pushy. And I feel like it's because you understand that you're coming into something after dealing with something really heavy. Okay. Or being in something for a long time. So you give it, you're giving it its space or it's time. Um, and you're not being very pushy on it. Okay. I feel like you're trying to move on with your life and you're trying to figure out, I mean, like you're just tired of dealing with something. I don't feel like you're just trying to, <laughs> you're trying to move forward. I feel like you want to see things from a different side as well. And that's why you're coming back in to see both sides instead of just focusing on yours. It's very interesting. Um, like you have some sort of new understanding It may be about a cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Okay. So I feel like this person is very intuitive. This person is very sweet. I mean, this person can be very cutting emotionally, um, but I feel all in all, you feel like you're loved by this person or this person genuinely has some sort of affection for you. And you're more paying attention to the other side of the coin. I keep hearing that. It's like the other side of the coin. You're making the moves, okay? Seeing what what cards you have to play, per se, okay? So let's see what your guidance is for this week, Leo. Dedicated effort, beautiful. It's the Eight of Pentacles. So that talks about work. That's all it talks about. <clears throat> Working to try to see if um, you can get a relationship together, working on a relationship, trying to find some abundance in your life. And that's what you are facing or looking at this week. Okay. Okay. Next we have Sagittarius. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. You may be starting a new job or a new relationship opportunity. Five of Wands in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You have the Strength in reverse and the Moon in reverse. Lots of reversals. <clears throat> Lots of reversals, Sagittarius. Okay, so... You could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces because both of these are in your overall energy. They're, most, they're both major arcana cards. So when that comes out to me, it feels like confusion when it's in reverse. Because it talks about weakness and fear. For some of you, I'm hearing that being too open could be a problem. So that is for someone specifically. But there is fear about taking risks. Letting go of fears. So you can take risks. Be careful of being impulsive because someone is feeling like they have no fear and that could be a weakness for you. Okay. <clears throat> so you see opportunities for new beginnings or new beginnings are being presented to you. Okay. But you're not moving into it. Okay. Or you're not getting a message or communication from a fire, another fire sign. But I feel like this is you not communicating or not moving towards a new beginning. I feel like you don't want to argue. Okay. Um, this new beginning could bring some conflict or something new and 
some new conflict or um, discrepancy in your life that you may not be ready for. OK, I feel like you're going to let it go. You're definitely thinking about letting it go. Um, you've been thinking about starting this new beginning or starting something for a while, I feel. OK, but I don't I don't feel like, you know, the steps to take. Or you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn who just doesn't feel like they're moving towards you. They may not be communicating or doing as much as they should be doing because I get this energy like they feel like you should be doing it. And that's not the way that you go about things. OK. Um, but I feel like it's easier on you to try to let it go instead of worrying about this other person. It's like I don't have to deal with this and by letting it go and about not feeling like because I feel like by letting it go not that you're not learning your lesson it's like you feel like this is a weakness of yours like this is a hmm. This is your soft spot. Like your lesson, something you must learn. Let me just pull these and see. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of responsibility. Um, to put all the effort in and you're stepping away from that. Okay. And by doing that, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to change because the other person feels almost comfortable being in that feeling of not moving or not doing anything because it's a safe place for them. There is a net just flying around me right now. He's driving me crazy. Uh, <laughs> they feel comfortable just not doing anything. And both of you being in this energy of feeling like both of you are right and not wanting, it just feels like both of you are not putting the effort in. And that's the weakness with this situation. So you can take this energy how you want, because I'm hearing that some of these people, some of you who are listening, it has to do with a work situation as well. OK, like with a coworker or a boss or a friend. They, I just heard friend. So you have just breathe. OK, just breathe talks about putting a rest to things, taking a rest, stepping back for a second so you can see both sides. So both of you can get some sort of balance. OK, um, so it is a lot of work to put the effort in and all it's going to do if you do that is cause more conflict. So it's good to let go of the past and how things were so you can calm your mind and see things in the new way. OK, so that's something to look at as well, Sagittarius. So thank you so much for listening. I will see you next week. I love you so much. Love and light. Bye bye.